one more week of Bucks football action after this and one of these teams is going to punch their ticket on March 19th to Loughborough but more importantly they get a trip to the Prem as well next year both of these squads have had fantastic seasons but in different ways Exeter undefeated in the regular season in the last few weeks, they've put on some great performances in the playoffs. Obviously, their first rounder, they welcomed KCL here to Exeter's Rubber Crumb. And it was 75-0 for the Demons. And then they had a matchup with the old foes in Bournemouth. 32-6 going the way of Exeter. They have been fantastic all year long. We've pegged them from the start. Absolutely sensational. Last year, they were knocked out by Hearts, another team from the Southern Div 1. You know, if you want to make that a, make that a bit of a storyline, I'll try to, especially if they win. Exeter's average points scored 42.3 and 55.3 and points conceded on average their smallest margin of victory was 13 against Bath in week 14. Now the Lancers, do not get me wrong, you cannot look at the Lancers and not be like this is a team with heart, with grit, with passion because let's look at last year for the Lancers. They went two and five basically on the edge, on the edge of relegation splitting with Sussex and Holloway and that win with Holloway is what kept them up. And now, look at them now. They're, in, they're one step away from the Prem. They're one step away from punching their ticket to Loughborough, getting a chance at some gold or a medal, or at the very least, two and five. They've come back now, a record, five, two and one. They flipped it with a draw, of course. They flipped it with a draw, going on a five-game winning streak to start the season being Reading twice, and I tell you what, when it was Brunel versus Oxford, and Oxford versus Hearts, we didn't think that Oxford would have it, but they did. First time around, Oxford beat both of them, but in the fixtures in the second half of the year, Brunel were able to beat Oxford, and Hertfordshire were able to beat Oxford. Obviously, in that five-game undefeated streak, I am counting the draw with Royal Holloway, because we were there, I was there, and Holloway were leading that game. But Oxford came back and absolutely smashed them. Realistically, you look at a team that is playing with house money, win the Lancers, because they're tricky, they're shifty. And I've said this from the start. I'm not saying that Oxford are bad. I'm saying they're shifty. How do you plan for Oxford? They're difficult. They're stressful. Oxford are stressful. And if there's one team that could do this, it's probably Oxford, just because of how stressful they've been. Their playoff journey saw them. You know, if you watch the rundown on Mondays, it's half past six normally, you know that I'm a big, big fan of the Kent Falcons. You know that I'm a big fan of the Kent Falcons. So when Oxford turned around and beat them at 27 to six, what? I was surprised by that. Oxford are a good side, but beating Kent, but they did it. And then last week, a game that went down to the wire in Brunel versus Oxford. A little bit, a little bit of... Um, you know, it broke SJ's heart. I'm sure that the man himself is watching, but it broke his heart 16 to 21. And Oxford have found themselves here at Exeter. Now, Oxford, they average 19.3 points a game and concede average 12 points a game. And their highest point win was the 21 difference over Kent. Now, there are a lot more games going on today for people to punch their ticket to championship games to Loughborough, to the Div 2 championships in Nottingham. You've got the Nottingham Gold versus the Durham Saints, a much more interesting game than, say, it was during the regular season as Durham. They've been improving every single week. It's going to be stressful. You know, even Jamie, Jamie's picked Durham, and it's gone from being a ha-ha-ha, Jamie's picked Durham, to, OK, Jamie, that's fair enough. Um, and then... In Nottingham somewhere, the Manchester Tyrants are facing the NTU Renegades and they will face one of these two teams on the 19th of March in Loughborough for the start of Bucks Big Wednesday in Division 2. You've got the U-Clan Rams versus the Derby. Braves Derby are on their revenge tour. Will U-Clan will U-Clan suffer their first loss of the season? 
See, they're already promoted. This is the big thing. Derby aren't. Our Derby going to be the Liverpools of this season. Then you've got a brilliant game in the north. You've got the Northumbria Mustangs who've just been smashing it all. Absolutely smashing it against the Nottingham Green. Both those teams won their division. The Midlands for the Green. The 2B, I'm going to say, for the Mustangs. And that's going to be a great game. Then in the south, somewhere over there. Where is it? East? Never eat shredded wheat. West. Somewhere west. You've got Sus you've got not Sussex. Swansea versus Imperial. A game that many people thought would be the final of the Div 2 Championships. It's happening in Cardiff. It's happening in Cardiff. That game's going to be a cracker. I don't know. I can't call that game. It's a stressful one. And then you've got Brighton versus UCL. Brighton have been looking strong. They're undefeated. UCL, nah. They are. They suffered a loss to Greenwich Mariners. But UCL could do this and set up the final that I know that a lot of people want to see between the, the Immortals and the Emperors. But for right now, right now, we are here in Exeter for the Saints versus the Demons as the hometown squad make their entrance. Look at that green smoke. They got their green unis. That is a squad who is ready to go. Here we go. They're ready for it. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, these big metal poles won't be in the way. All the time. <laughs> got, got, a, got, a young, got a young demon prospect coming out with them. Woo! Here we go. Here come the demons. You've got to say the demons are the favourite today. The Oxford Lancers. No one's really given the eye. I love, I love their head coach, Ian Eastcock, because he's a lovely guy. But no one gave Oxford a chance. No one gave a chance. We didn't give him a chance. But they've got a chance to do something. <laughs> Here we go. And that, is, and that is a team with momentum. That is a team. They know they're the favourites as Shawn Michaels' entrance music plays. And they're looking to break some hearts for the Lancers. Do you like that little segue? Because I'm proud of it. You don't always get a wrestling reference into it. As we've got the Lancers, they're getting ready. Lancers are getting ready to try and achieve what many think is impossible. I'm going to move the camera back round. So we're going to... No, that's the Lincoln versus DMU one. Need to get that off. We're going to move it there. I'm going to move my camera slightly. So I'm going to put the graphic back up. If you hear a big crash, uh, Steve will take the money out of my uh, <laughs> paycheck. Um, let me move the camera. Oxford, so Oxford has supplied me with a chair. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't normally commentate sitting down. There's a good chance that if something amazing happens, I'm going to fly off the side of this scaffolding. Demons getting ready as I try and put my camera down. There we go. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Just needed to reorganise myself. We are back. Here we go as the captains line up here for both squads. Obviously, one thing to take away is look at the size of this demon squad. There's a lot of them. They all look happy. They all look healthy. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure Oxford are happy, but are they healthy? Okay. If you're looking around for these players on the Demon sideline, Ben Hellett, the DB, South Orsadar. UNC Crusaders, Finland. 18, Finn Walagoria. Where is he? He's a wide receiver. Jack Leesman. Zach Leesman, not Jack Leesman. Sorry. Number 50, linebacker. From the Somerset Wyverns. You've got to be happy. I wish I could get this. I'm going to try. Number one. 
Ben Hellett, we're just talking about him. Look at it. I'm trying to see if you can see his back plate. Look at his back plate. <laughs> you slow AF. You slow AF, boys. That, now, that right there, that's conference. Look at that. Exeter are ready to go. <laughs> Destiny waits and a date in Loughborough. We'll try and keep you updated with the scores on the doors for the other games happening around the league. Because that NTU Manchester one, that's a spice one, NTU beating Leeds last week. Manchester beating Warwick, but by three points. David Oyada, number two, another one to look out for. Another South All Star. You look at, you look at the roster. You look at the amount of South All Stars this extra Demons team has, and a lot of Aztecs as well. Joe Mugford, GB under 19, South All Star, Bristol Aztec, 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 Aztec. The Bristolian influence of the Aztecs is real in Uniball. Here we go as these number one, number 50, 82. Zach, oh, James Bush, Steve Serrett player coming out as well, and number 74, Ben Burgess coming out here. Captains for the Lancers. I'm gonna try and see, we've got 61. I've got a 61 on my roster, Foxford. Any danger of it being any louder? I could certainly turn it up, if needs be. Do, 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 do. There we go. Is that any better? Maybe I need to talk louder. But, Freddie, tell me if that's any better for you. Trying to see number 35 for the Lancers, Charles London. I think that's number three. So Keth Summeranian, another one of the Cummins at number 17. Oyun Wan are the captains for the Lancers. I don't know who number 61 is, so I don't have a name. But here we go. Let's see who's won the kick. It's semi-final Sunday. Bleed green, that's better, no problem, Freddie. He's happy with it as the Demons are on the field. There is a little metal pole in the middle. I'll try and move the camera around where I can, but it is in my way. They got me a seat here in it. I don't normally commentate sitting down, but it's, it's nice. That's just a hot fact about me. It was raining here earlier. I'm sure some of these coaches probably thought, oh, it's gonna be a run heavy game, but it's dried up in Exeter now. A bit cold, not as windy as it was last time. I'm currently sat on top of the, the platform. No coffee this time though. Sugar-free Fanta. So here we go. Exeter are going to receive. Ollie Murden and Ben Hellett back to receive. So... Wow, Sam's still salty here. He should have come down. Leafy Crimson saying, come on you lads, we got Oxford fans. Chat going on. I believe that's Ethan Caldicott will be the one to kick it away for the Lance. I can't tell if... It is, it is Ethan Caldicott, the one to kick it away for the Lancers. Oh, wow. I tell you what, bold move. Bold move. Hasn't paid off, but close is surprising one. You see Super Bowls start like this, and it might as well be the Super Bowl. 
as the as the demons will take it dead on the Lancers 35 yard line. Well done, Conquer your face to the platform. Honestly, uh, honestly, SJ mate, I mean this. It was wet when I climbed up here. Um, getting up here is not the problem. Climbing back down is. So here we go. Two receivers on the outside, one in the back. Big formation. Here's the run. And he's running 45. Gets tackled by 21. Let's get some names. 27, sorry. Ali for Oxford on the tackle. And Carl West on the run. And that's going to be a gain of, it looks like, eight here for the Demons. As their campaign to Loughborough begins with an eight-yard gain. Here we go. They've got some big men in at tight end. 30 on the move for the Demons. And it's going to be a run from West again. And a great tackle by 38 there of the Lancers. It's going to be a first down for the Demons. But William Hudson bared there with a the tackle. Tackling nice and low. Absolutely great tackle there. Same formation. I will give you the science names, but there you go. 30 on the move again. And it's going to be a run from West. He's running left. He's breaking tackles, and it's going to take three lancers to bring the big man down. So it's going to be another eight yard gain for the Demons. Can't say that on stream, SJ. Ewan, Els, who does he play for? And I'll tell you if he's on my roster sheet. So it's going to be two on the left now. It's going to be a run from West, but he's running right. And he just pushes, bulldozes down. For the Demons. But West's shortest run of the day, and I know the day has just begun, but it's the shortest run of the day. Some substitutions happening. So trips right now for the Demons. Ben Abbott, the QB. And West is going up again, he's going up the middle. There's Lancers in the way. Gonna be another gain. I'm gonna say a gain of three or four. But it's been all West for the Southwest squad. So here we go now. They are close, maybe three or four yards out from pay dirt. 30 in motion again. West is going, but he's running right. And there's pay dirt. And the first touchdown of the day belongs to the Demons. And that was going all the way west. As we do have an injured Lancer down on the field. That was west, 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 west. Tell you what, you keep going west like that, you're going to end up in the States, probably around... Boston, Rhode Island, and that's where they want to go because that's where the touchdowns lie. But West, West, West sending him middle, right, left. They're sending him all over the shop. And the first touchdown of the day belongs to the Demons. Only two formations there. You had a trips. And you had a, a, a lot of tight ends. Two receivers on the outside, one back. But it's paid up for the Lancers. <laughs> Adam saying, if I had a pint for every time extra attempted to pass, I'd be very sober. When you've got a line like that, I mean, you know, do what you've got to do. Let's go, Carl. They're all loving it. People are here. Who are they sporting? The injured Lancer. 
has walked back under his own power to his sideline. That's good. That's what we like to see. Looks as though the kicking team is going out. Any danger of Abbott passing the ball? No. Here's the thing. If it works, it works. But people saying that the Exeter's got a good running game. If you know, you know. And it's going to be a, a fake and a push. And it's a fumble. Oh, my God, it's a fumble. Oh, my God, and that was close. Wow, wow, wow. As they're saying, Ben Hellett made the tackle. It seemed as though a Dengwa number seven was the only man on the field who realised that the ball was out and the whistle hadn't been blown. He gets it down to the 35. Score could have gone the way. To believe it would have been a two-pointer uh, for um, Oxford, but it was there and it was, you know, this the classic. You've got to lock in. You've got to lock in. Will Oshwood bliss via the point for every time makes out a first down? I'd have my head in the bin. Dude, it's a nice drinking game. I know it's not a bank holiday, but it's close. James Bush, the multi-tooled man. Fumble on the goal line, never seen that before. SJ cries, single tier. James Bush, the multi-tooled man, is going to be booting it. And it looks like you got 60, I think 81. 87. Great kick. And it's going out the back of the end zone. And a touchback. And Oxford start on their 20. Let's go, defense! Go, defense! loud, get loud. The flow the block, Charlotte. All right, kick off, guys. I haven't given you a sign. Boys, boys, boys. Apakama and Wan, the two returners there, didn't manage to get their hands on it. Lancers are tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. What can the demons do? Having a big old chat here. Here we go. Two on the right. Defense chance coming in. Hopefully you can still hear me. You've got a man in motion number three. 26 is looking. And it's an interception, but a flag on the play. Looks though like it's going to be roughing the passer. Looks like it's going to be roughing the passer. And there's Manny there, number 99. He's a Manchester Titan. That's a, and like, he's a big man from up here. Lancers are gonna get that 15 yard pen and a pick six on the first play of the game, or the first offensive play of the game for the Lancers is wiped off the board. So here we go. 35 yard start, yard line start. Bit of a low snap. QB's looking, he's looking to scramble. He's scrambling into, La into Demons, sorry. And he throws it out. Receivers in the area, there's going to be no call for where are Oxford star QBs. I don't know if they're here, Adam. That's the problem. But Caldicott, the man in a QB today, he manages to make sure there's no loss of yards. So trips on the right here for the Lancers, 87 on an island all by himself. Caldicott's looking. 
And a court catch by 87. And that was a great catch, it contested there. And that's going to be a first down for the Lancers. Both of them. I believe so, Adam. I believe so. Well, oh, SJ's there. Don't worry. SJ will tell you. Papakama with a great reception there. He's being marked by Lachlan Brown of the Demons. Two on the right, you've got some tight ends in. Oh no, four, it's quads. Caldicott's looking, five's right there. Fumble out. Okay. They're gonna be gonna be calling forward progress on that ball, I think. Let's see where they spot it. Yeah, they're gonna be calling that uh ball was going forward on the, the on the sack, on the tackle. That's Owen Beaumont. And then NFL Academy guy gets the big hit. Second and 10 here for the Lancers. Receivers on a wide flag on the play. And he's having a Pakama there. He's going to drive the Lancers back five. So whistling in here. That big rough in the passer call held the Lancers out. They're almost at the halfway line. And obviously, great pitch pass from Caldicott's Apakama for five yards back. Caldicott's looking for Apakama again, but batted down. Manny, they're proving that he's a difference maker on the field. He's a big man from where I'm sat all the way up here. I tell you, it's gonna be a long, could be a long day for any O-line that's got him in his in his sight. So all you Prem North teams, be aware. He's a Titan. So it's gonna be a third and 15 for the Lancers. 10 seconds left on the play clock. They're gonna have to get this one off fairly quickly. Kelly Cox running. And he's looking. Oh my God, and a great catch and a first down. A conversion on a third and 15 for the Lancers. Wow, wow, wow. Gagne LaBelle with the reception. And Kelly got running right, and they're gonna have a fresh set of downs. Wow, wow, wow. And Lancers are getting creeping ever closer. This is the thing with the Lancers. You can't ever count Oxford out. 6-0 the score here. Trips left for the Lancers. What can Caldicott do? And he's rolling out to the left now. And he goes over the top and a catch by number three. I'll get you a name as a helicopter comes past. If it is a bit loud, I'll try and move past. Summer, yeah. Summer Rainey, number three there with a catch, and it's going to be a gain of... I'm going to wait for them to put the sticks back. It's going to be a gain of seven there for the, de for the Lancers, sorry, not the Demons. Trips right now for the demon, for the Lancers. I keep doing that. Caldicott right up the middle and he gets out. Manny with a tackle, but I think there is going to be a gain there for Oxford. 
And that is that is going to be a gain. It's going to be two yards on the run from Caldicott. As we do have a demon down. One yard between Oxford, fresh set of downs, and the 13-yard line of the Demons. This is what I mean. Tricky, 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 tricky Oxford squad. Let's see if I can get some scores around the league. I don't know if I can. I know a lot of games to kick off around this time. Obviously, yesterday, the Uwe Bullets defeated Leeds Beckett 50-0. Continuing the Uwe Bullets run of dominance. As the the demon who was down coming back to his sideline. Third and one if for the Lancers. So, okay. No scores on the doors yet, but you see that Oxford, Oxford running back to the running back to the line here. Is it tactics? We don't know. We don't know. One yard for the Lancers. That's all they need for a fresh set of downs. Trip spread there. Two, two on either side. Appears to be we had a bit of a centre issue there. There was a lot of shouting from the Demon sideline. You could see Caldicott was calling for the ball. I tell you what, I've been there as a centre. It's difficult. And that third and one has now become a third and six, which is obviously a lot less manageable for the Lancers because realistically, if you're the Lancers and you don't get that, you don't get it on third, you go for it on fourth. You've got nothing to lose. The Lancers are playing with house money here, you know? No one expected the Lancers to be here. And especially when you consider, did anyone expect Lancers to be this far down the field? You yeah, know? So trips right, snap goes off. Kelly Cox running, he's looking to dink and dunk it. Oh, he's going, he's going. Oh, and in and out of the hands of 18 there for the Lancers. I'm an idiot. I was, oh, what's that on the screen? I can't get it off the screen. It's the buttons. It's the buttons for the camera. You know, like on the video display. Fourth and six here. Caldicott's still in, but Caldicott is the kicker, so we don't know. I believe there's a, a hockey game going on behind us. If you can hear some screaming, it's no worries, no one could. Towel on the field, rogue towel on the field. Trips right. Someone get the towel. Someone could slip on the towel. Kelly Cox running. He's running out right again. Oh, wow. And a catch by 16. It's going to be a fresh set of downs. And the Lancers once again convert on a very, very tricky, on a very, very tricky third. And the Lancers are getting ever closer. That roll out. Ooh. Oh, my Lord. Gagne LaBelle there with the reception from Caldicott has put the Lancers inside the Demons' red zone. They're <laughs> inside the red zone. They're on the seven-yard line, but let's see if I can wind this out a little bit, get everyone on the field, because, oh, my Lord. Here we go. Trips left there wide, 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 wide. Coldy Cott's looking. He's looking for someone. He's darting around. He just pings it up. And that ball is far, far, far too high for his receiver. Caldy Cott having a chat with a ref. <laughs> Don't know why I felt the need to mention that. But Oxford had this ball a long time. It was like, you know, possession wise, we're playing, we're on. I was about to say soccer there. Uh, we're on an American football stream, I'll say that. Um, uh, possession matters. But like Oxford have controlled the majority of this ball, mainly making it on third downs. Here we go. Third spread now, two receivers on either side. Empty set. 
No one there. Coldicott is looking, he's running around, but he's running to the side of Manning. Oh, and almost picked off there. But you can tell that it's almost picked off. But if you do the um, no fly zone celebration afterwards, it's fine. You didn't get the in, but almost. McLaven there with the breakup. Third and seven still for the Lancers. Here we go. Been very, very successful on third down. Have the Lancers. Trips left now for the Lancers. No receivers in the backfield. Great snap. Manny ruins a man. Caldicott doesn't find anyone. But it's fourth. What are they going to do here? Do you want to put some points on the board or do you want to try and tie up this game? I don't know. Again, I'm sort of in the mindset of your Oxford. It's house money. It's house money. They would love a sport in the prep. And that's what's on the line here. And they've proven by this drive that, you know, they deserve to be here. They're doing well. Especially when you consider, like, you know, they're two quarterbacks who, you know, are the ones who are dominating. Well, not dominating, but cracking open some of those plays that may not go the same way, but Caldicott's come in and he's, you know, he's doing well. Trips on the left now for the Lancers. Tell you what, it could just be because it may be a new offense. Lancers taking their, their time here. And there you go. That's what you see. You see, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I do what I do. Because I believe that's going to be a delay a game on the Lancers. Yep, there we go. And it is going to be a delay of game on the Lancers. It's been something that's happened throughout this game that the Lancers are taking their time to get to the ball and just not being able to, to, to get it off. A fourth and 17 now for the Lancers between them and paid up. When they've come back, the Lancers have shown that they can do it. But is this a bridge too far for the Lancers? It's 17. Even still here, you see, you know, the Lancers taking their time. But you've got to have a chat sometimes. Trips left. DBs are off. Caldicott is looking. He's got one chance. He pings it up. Oh, my God. And it's a touchdown for the Lancers. Woo! Oh, my Lord. What a sensational grab. Oh, my God. And... It's now tied here in Exeter. Gagne LaBelle there with an absolutely sensational grab. Oh, my God. And the Lancers are one play away from taking the lead here in Exeter. I'm sure there are people out there. They'd be surprised if Oxford held a lead at all. But it seems to be that the Lancers, they're not kicking it. They are not kicking this. Caldicott's looking. Fakes it a three. Three's got space, but he's going wide. I don't think he's going to get there. So the score is tied here in Exeter. Lancers six, Demons six. What a drive by the Lancers. Come on now. Come on now. Multiple times. Unfortunately, they went behind the sticks. And they come back and they on those third down plays, on, now on the four down plays. They come back and they make the play, get the first down. And I'll tell you what they've done. Time, 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 time. They've burnt a lot. SJ, what a guy. Exeter's party is weak compared to everything else. But when you're a team that's so good as Exeter, you know, you, is it weak? I, guess, I mean, I guess we've seen it. I guess we've seen it now because the score is tied in this semi-final. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, we have a game on our hands. I think, yeah, I think, uh, let's see what Seb said. I completely agree. I think a lot of the Uniball community is surprised the Lancers even got to this stage. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, I don't mind saying this. They're playing with house money. Throw everything at this game if you're Oxford. Why not? A nice little chippy on side, and it goes out of bounds. Second time Oxford have done that. 
Well, I don't know who this guy is, but his profile picture, jarring, 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 jarring. By the way, Louis Trotman, whoever's sugar-free Fanta that was that was in the fridge, I took it. And I will give it back to someone. I'll give them the money, but I needed a drink. Let's go, Lancers. I'm telling you, this game is spicy. Like, you are surprised that the Lancers have got here. And that's fair. And I understand that because I feel the same way. I love the Lancers. They're a great, they're a great team. They've got that grit. They're a great story. If they get to Loughborough, is anyone going to complain? Is anyone going to complain? No, because they've earned it, you know. I'm not saying that the Demons haven't, but the Demons just rolling, rolling people. The Lancers, 5-2-1, and one, you know, draw against Holloway. Holloway are relegated, you know. It's difficult. Beating Brunel twice. Sorry, SJ. Here we go now. Demons starting on, I believe, the Lancers, 49. And it's going to be a run. A far 14, still with a stiff arm. Dragged him by his sleeves. Oh, my Lord. Just fighting there. We've got a lot of demons. I've got a lot of both fans in here because this is semi-final Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Shea Paul there with the run for the demons. He was dragging him by his sleeves. But sometimes you've got to wear the sleeves, ladies and gentlemen. Gain of five. I'm going to say a gain of five here for the hometown squad. 18 on the move. And it goes to 18 on a jet sweep. And 18's running. He's got a lot of space. 38 there with a low tackle. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my God. We've got, we've got everyone. We've got SJ. We've got Dylan. What a great run there from 18 of the Demons. Walagoria. With the run, looks like that's going to be getting it down to the 19 yard line of the Lancers. And it's a run here. Well, Agora flag on the play, but goes out of bounds. So flag on the play. We're going to wait for the, what the White Hat has to say here. Should have brought a pillow. At least my bum's not going to sleep like last time, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. It's going to be on the Lancers. Ten yard pen. So here we go. First and 20 for the Demons. Well, oh my God, and a big collision. Woo! Wow, wow, wow. I could hear that all the way up here. Let's just have a look. And the Lancers are hyped for it. Wow, just boom, 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 boom. Do I think Lancers could offer Leicester City FC 25 soon? Yeah, I do think that could happen. I don't believe there's any gain on that play. Stop dead. And we are going to, and there is a demon down. Honestly, I don't know why you put it like that. I'm just happy you spelled my last name right. But Lance is a getting that momentum. I tell you what, it's, I know that the offense is on the field, but normally Exeter. They've got that swag, but it's like, sometimes I feel like, you know, maybe maybe Exeter's losing it a bit. You know, I think, I think, really, I think Exeter's surprised that Oxford have managed to score. Oh, Dylan, it's good. Dylan, it's, it's all well and good getting up here, but getting down's the problem. <laughs> getting down's the problem. Let's see if I can get any other scores from around the league, because I know the games were kicking off around this time. So the demon who was down. 
is walking off under his own power. That is good. Don't worry, he's just said he got winded, that's number 30 there. No scores yet. So here we go, back in, lock in. Let me go to Instagram. Are there any scores on Insta? Score that matters right now is 6-6 six, six right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, two on the right. And 14's got it. And space again. He's going, he's going, he's going. And he's out of bounds at the two or maybe even the one. And Shea Paul there getting it down there. He adds all the space. These tricky plays like the jet sweeps, these motions. And here we go. And it's the end of Q1. And wow, 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 what a Q1 it was as we are tied here. And the Lancers will be having to defend from their two yard. Um, so the one or two, I don't know as right now because obviously they're all walking. Let me see what Instagram is saying. So the Braves are warming up. So we won't go there. If anyone's watching Gold versus Saints, please do fill me in. They're not playing. So I've got one for you. So it's six nil to Swansea over Imperial as it stands. And a run through, waiting for the call. And another six points on the board for the Lancers. Can they get the extra point? Didn't manage to get it last time. Almost went the way of the Lancers. With a run there, so I'm trying to do like four or five things at once. So I try and get number 45. Carl West, the man who dominated the first Lance, the first Demons drive um, as Abbott looks to kick it through. Oh, they're moving round. Nope. Held up in a kick formation. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Number 17 for the Lancers. I'm gonna, I need to go back and have another look at that. Wow, look at this. Just... Wow, wow, wow. That is a man, that is a much bigger man than he, and he blew him up. Did one, no wonder he's a captain for the Lancers, and it's gonna say 12 to 6. Imperial ruining the script. <laughs> wonder what's going on in Brighton. Potentially, we can have check the score updates in at Brighton, but 6 0 currently to Swansea, 12 to 6 here. Exeter. <sighs> Let's put it away, but I'm not. Big kick, and it's going out the back. Going out the back of the end zone. Takes sure every time Tebbs calls X to the Lancers. I've been, uh, honestly, I'm normally not that bad for it, Fraser, but today I've been getting it wrong, Demons, Lancers. I might just say Oxford and Exeter from now on. Durham currently first in goal. Ooh. Thank you, Reagan. So here we go now. Lancers have the ball on their own 20, where they started on their last drive, and they very much matriculated, matriculated the ball down the field. 
So here we go now for Oxford. So two tight ends, three receivers. Baldy Cox looking, and it's a pick. And just like that, oh wow. And 11 could see that all day long for the Demons. Bakari on the tackle, but Tom Seeger with the pick. And Seeger was, he was right there. He was right there. He was looking dead in the eyes. And the demons are taking over on, I'm going to say, the five. Looks about 4.5, 7 nil to Durham over in Nottingham. So here we go, shotgun formation, two on either side. And a pass here. Oh, wow. And the first pass of the game for the Demons results in a touchdown. And Joe Mugford there gets a TD for his stat book. As it's now 18 to 6. Have a look at the kick. Remember, they, they optioned out of the kick, but a kick this time, and it is good. 19 to 6 the score. <clears throat> and if you remember the first play of the first drive for Oxford's offense, it was all it was a pick about a rough in the pass of call. Then the second offensive drive for Oxford, the first play, is a pick. Need to get those jitters out of the way. So Bush. Bush looking for the boot. Here we go. 19-6 the score. A uh, big kick there. My landed bounce. Called by 87. They look like they were going for the tricky play. But 87, caught by 22 of the Demons. Inside, inside their 20. As Harry Blades makes the tackle. And the Lancers are going to be starting on their own 18. So, the one thing you don't want, I know it's easy to say stuff, is a pick. You don't want it to become a trend for the Oxford Lancers offense here. But as they line up in trips again, Caldy Cott is looking, he's rolling out. Caldy Cott goes out of bounds. Yeah, gain of three, I'm gonna say. No, I'm gonna say gain of four. So gain of four there. But one thing you will say, Caldy Cott runs out and he's got time. He's got time. You know, like he had the option, he just couldn't see any open receivers. Took a four yard gain. Eighty-nine, the back here for the Lancers. Calicott's looking, but Manny's there. Evades Manny. Calicott's looking, he's going, he's round. And that is going to be a first down for the Lancers. Yeah. 
Again, tricky, tricky squad. That's what I love about Oxford. But they are down. They are down. Bit of run play. And this thing with Oxford, they do love a QB run. So the fact that it's taken this long for it to come out, a bit surprising. Trips right now for the Lancers. Bringing 89 back behind him. Caldicott's evading. So we're going to wait to see if that's a flag. Tell you what, Caldicott definitely has great presence of mind when it comes to, you know, throwing balls away. But they are going to be calling it a sack. But interesting start, push the ball forward. But the Lance is going to be behind the sticks again, which is a very, very strange thing to say, but it's sort of where the Lancers thrive. They thrive behind the sticks. They thrive in this chaos that they unfortunately put themselves into. And that is going to be a second, and I'm going to say 14 for the Lancers. Two on the right. We've got three in motion. And it seemed to be there was a bit of centre miscommunication again for the Lancers, the second time we've seen that, but instead of taking a delay or taking a flag, Kelly Clock turns around, throws the old time up. He just calls the time out, make sure no more flags, don't need to go any further back when you're at <laughs> second and 14. Smart call by Kelly Clock. I'm impressed by Kelly Clock. He's not the starting QB. Hell, Kelly Clock's not even the second, he's not even the backup QB. And I tell you what, He's having a, he's having a, for, for what it is, he's having a good time. So, you know, he's, he's showing, he's got the, he's got the mind of a quarterback throwing it out, running it away. Don't get me wrong, the, the, the second one that we just saw, what's up? Yeah, I've said that. <laughs> Wait, did we get an O-line score? <laughs> so there you go. Mugford, number seven, O-line. We've got an O-line score. We've got a big man score. That's what's great about Oxford, uh, Exeter. I've done it again. Is it because Exeter demons are right below me? Just have a conversation. Shout up. Call me bad. Tell me to jump off this scaffolding. So here we go. Second and 14, Lancers back in. Another shot for Fraser. Unbelievable stuff for me. Same formation as before. But you can tell... The, the coaching stuff and the demons themselves. As Caldicott rolls out to the right, that's a great ball. Can 16 grab it? Oh my lord, above! Wow, wow, wow. Let's have another look at that. Wow, wow, wow. The Lancers are moving down the field when they're behind the sticks. The Lancers thrive in the chaos. Unbelievable. I cannot believe it. Gagne Labelle, the guy for the Lancers. He is the target. And the Lancers have moved deep. How deep? How deep? How deep? How deep? I'm going to say the 18 yard line of the Demons. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So two backs now in for the Lancers. I say that as three moves out for an orbit. Kelly Cock. I don't think Caldicott can get out of this one. And it's a sack. So you what, I'm impressed. I'm impressed by these Lancers. They're behind, they're behind the sticks again, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, magic could be on the way. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It's not the way that you want to play the game. You don't want to be behind the sticks all the time. But the Lancers, when they're behind the sticks, they're cashing in. It's going to be spread offence now. For the Lancers. Caldicott's looking. He's rolling out right. 56 is on him. And Caldicott just takes... Caldicott goes out of bounds and just takes a little bit of that deficit off. 
but he's not going to be able to get back to the original line of scrimmage. A fun fact, Potter has more degrees than sacks allowed. Brother, I know that. I know that feeling. So here we go, third and 11 for the Lancers. In extra territory, trips on the left. Will Magic strike again, Caldicott's rolling out to the left. He's looking. And, a, and it's a great catch, and it's another first down for the Lancers. I don't know how they keep doing this. When they're behind the sticks, they find a way. They find a way, and they're in the red zone of the Demons. I don't quite understand the Lancers. And that's the best part about the Lancers. I don't understand. Again, Lancers having a big, long chat. Inside the goal line, but they're right on it. Trips right. Caldy Cox rolling out to the right. He fakes it. He's going. He throws. He throws it into a mess of receivers. I was hoping that no one would target the back right portion of the end zone because. I've just got, like, I can't, like, they're just there, these things. I don't like them. So, <laughs> Ian, I know you're not watching, but if you could, if you could, can you not do that? Because I won't be able to do a replay. There's, one thing, there's not much I can do about those two metal posts, because they're keeping me up here and they're keeping me safe. Cause it's starting to get windy, but I don't feel any less safe. Trips left. No. Two on the left and two on the right. Spread for the Lancers. Here we go, Caldicott's rolling out to the left. There's demons all around, he just throws it up and almost caught there, but in and out of the hands. Of the demons, I believe that's 87 of the, oh God, I've done it again. No, the Lancers. Why am I getting Lancers and demons confused? They're not even remotely close. There's worse things I could do, but, but it's, it's not good. <laughs> Lancers, the Lancers almost had that. Third. I'm trying to work it out. I believe it's third and six for the Lancers. Trips on the right. So Caldicott's got to roll out to the right. Oh my Lord. And it's a touchdown for the Lancers! Oh my god! And Gagne LaBelle just snatches it out of the air. I wish I could, but he caught it just, just with those metal poles. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this is a game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! Gagne LaBelle, the man of the hour, the man with the power. And that power is getting six points on the board for the Lancers. Oh, my Lord. They're still behind. Don't get me wrong, but 19 to 12. So here we go. They're not going for the kick. Spread now for the Lancers. Pops it out. Carly Cox looking. And Calicott tries to dump it off, but that is not going to be any good as I believe we have a Lancer down. I'm surprised by this, Legion. The Lancers are just special. There's something there with the Lancers that they're managing to do this. On, you know, I know they're behind, but being able to do this against arguably the best Division One team in the country, sorry NTU, sorry Manchester, but you know, we spoke a lot about how we, think Exeter, we thought Exeter were going to have this, you know, for a while, you know, they were going to have this championship, at least getting to the final was there, a premiership berth for Exeter was there, right? 
but to do this to to do this to the demons I know you're talking about this they're not then don't get me wrong they're not dominating but my god is it stressful especially when you consider like the Lancers are averaging 19 and a half games you know it's stressful they concede averagely 12 whilst Exeter averagely over all the games they've played this year they they can they concede 5.3 so let's call it five and the Lancers have already more than doubled that here If the Lancers can just, you know, eliminate these small mistakes, it could be a surprising happening. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I was saying, if there's one team that could do it, it's it's the Lancers. Wow. <clears throat> Half time coming soon. I'll try and get some scores for you. Remember, the Lancers have tried a two couple of tricky kicks their last two kickoff attempts. Lancers get the ball at the half. Will they just try something regular? Abbott and Bush, I believe, are the guys in the backfield ready to receive. They're difficult. Gonna have to bring in the holder. Given that the given oh hold up hold up hold up swap it up subbing out holders Coming out holders. Other side. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And a short one. And maybe a gain of one there. There was a, I forget who said the comment earlier that the Lancers don't want to kick to Abbott. And you know what? I think that might be right. So here we go now, Lancers. Another small kick, I think that that's true. Don't want to kick it over to Abbott. The Demons are going to be starting on their own 29 yard line. Got a lot of men in motion. Two Titans in motion, they're overloading that left side and it's a run to the left. And I think he may be gone. Flag on the play. Interesting. Wouldn't be what that flag is. Seems the Lancers making that tackle and had to <coughs> tackle each other in order to make the tackle there. But it is, again, dependent on the flag. So let's check in with the White House. So it appears to be a block in the back on the Demons. So, enough of a run for a first down, but 10 yard penalty. Sheeple with a great run. I thought he might have that. It was looking wide open. Not wide open. Don't want to um, mess around George. It was looking open. I thought, you know, when he gets that momentum going, I thought he was there. But enough for a first down. But another man in motion. Paul's got it again, and he's running, and just running over Lancers. First down, another one, another one. Two, oh, we've got a Lancer down. <clears throat> because it's, it sounds like it's, it's, it's so obvious. You know, Rocks want to win this game. They need a defensive stop. They need a defensive stop here because if they stop Exeter here and get the ball back at the half, they could do something special. They could be leading or dream drawing on into the third in the third against Exeter, but I think this relentless offensive pressure from Exeter is gonna be the difference maker in this match. 
Let's look at the scores on the doors. Anyone's got any updates for me from Nottingham? Nottingham TD. Thank you. I was about to say you read my mind. Nottingham TD six to seven in that one. Let's see how the Titans are doing. As the player for the Lancers who was down is he's back up. Three forty remaining. On the clock. I can't type. Twelve nil. Hold on. Twenty two nil. The Titans apparently smashed an Imperial. Didn't see that coming. Seven seven Durham knots. Let's throw out. Paul's got it again. Got space. There is Lance is there. But out of bounds. Wait for the game. Looking like a gain of eight yards there for sure. Eighteen and eighty-two out, wide, and a pass. I batted down, but Abbott caught it. Wow, wow, wow! You don't see stuff like that every day. Let's have another look at that. I batted down, Abbott caught it, ran for the first down. He he caught his own pass. First down here for the Demons. We've seen an O-line touchdown from the Demons. We've seen a QB catch his own pass. This time he's running. Breaking tackles. And I'll tell you what, if you're a Demons fan, if you're a Demons fan, you're not gonna like what I'm going to say. So two minute warning. Don't worry, don't worry. I thought Shane might be down. He's back up. But in comes West to replace Shane. We is walking off under his own power. So here we go. Red zone for the Demons. Can they punch it in? Two minute warning. Demons have three timeout, Lancers have two. Let's get back into it. Eighty two out wide, wide, wide. And it's a run from West. And a tackle. Oh and a touchdown. So 25 to 12. Well, 35 minutes past 11. West with another touchdown on the board. And the kick formation goes out again. Fighting Lancers bring him down. No two pointer there. So with under two minutes remain, the Lancers get the ball back. And I will say one thing that hasn't been um, the Lancers' strong suit today is speed getting to the ball. They're going to have to 
be quick. They got two timeouts. You know that Bush is going to put that ball deep, 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 deep. But I think they know that you kick it to the receivers, you can get there. Shave off a couple of extra yards from that touchback. So let's see what we got over here. And let's zoom back out. Oh, wow. Here we go. Good kick. It's going to just go out. So the Lancers get it on their 20. Going to guess maybe 149 left in this game. That's what I'm going to guess. Um, two timeouts for the Lancers. But again, remember, you want to make sure that that uh, first play of your offensive position isn't a, isn't a pick. This has happened twice. You've got to talk about trends, haven't you? Really. So, here we go now. <laughs> two on the right. Or two on the left as well, they're bunched. Faking that. Oh, and a big, big sack. And that's exactly what you need in a time like this. Looks like it's going to be a timeout, Oxford. Nope. First time out for the Demons. The Demons can smell blood. The Lancers are backed up. It's going to be a second and 22. And I know I said that the Lancers thrive from behind the sticks, so they certainly have done today. Second and 22 when you're starting on your own eight, I think might be, I know I've said it again, a bridge too far, a mountain too high, a valley too low. There ain't no mountain high enough. No, don't worry. Empty set. A lot of receivers out there. Caldicott's looking, but Manny's right there. Oh, and almost a brilliant one-handed snag there by three of the Lancers. So it's going to be a third and 22 again. I think it's a bridge too far for Oxford. You know, neither team's brought out their punting unit so far today. Caldicott again is going out to the outside. 56 right there. Jukes him. Very well done from Caldicott. Big throw. Separation. And he's done. They've done it again. The Lancers have done it again. How do they keep doing this? How do the Lancers keep doing this? Oh my God, I don't understand it. They've, he's done it again. There is a Lancer down, but my Lord, what a bomb. Caldicott, wow, 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 wow. So only one timeout remaining for the Lancers, but the field. Oh my God, it's been flipped. The Lancers are on one today. <clears throat> Still got a Lancer down. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know how they, go. I don't know how they keep getting away with it. They're tricky. They're shifty. It's like what I said about Oxford. You just don't know, dear. You? you just don't know and plays like that. 
sometimes you can feel that there's magic in the air. There's something special. Can they do it? They keep playing like that. They can, but my God, wouldn't it be impressive if they didn't do it from behind the sticks? Oh, my Lord above. What he and his cock has cooked up over at the Lancers. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. Number two, being helped off. He's made his way to his own sideline. <clears throat> Good to see as the Lancers have moved the ball to the Demons 31. And it's gonna looks like it's gonna be a full start. Snap didn't go anywhere, just dribbled along the floor. <clears throat> Illegal snap by the centre. Wow. Oh, not heard that one before. <clears throat> but Again, ladies and gentlemen, that means the Lancers are behind the sticks. That means the Lancers are behind the sticks. And that seems to be the, the, the sweet spot, the danger zone. Cowley Cox rolling out to the right. Lancers being bullied. Caught, oh, and in and out of, and off the fingertips of 24 of the Lancers. And Edis there, Maximus Edis, nearly had that ball, but just off the fingertips. Oh my Lord, Ben, I love you, I'll get into that. Half time's approaching and I'll read them out, but we got more important business to attend to here in Exeter. Second and 15 for the Lancers. Caligos rolling out right. There's demons all over the place. And a sack. And I tell you what, That is exactly what the demons needed. <laughs> 33 of the demons. 33 of the demons. Absolutely crucial, but the Lancers I'm going to say third and 23. Third and 23. They've pulled it out of the fire. They've pulled it out of the fire. They're putting themselves into the fire. And they're pulling themselves out of it. Can they do it again here? 49 seconds remain. We'll say, if you're the, if you're the Lancers, you're taking yourself out of the danger zone. The Demons, unless it's a pick, you know, knock on wood, for, for the Lancers, then it's not picked. There's not going to be a score, but they had a big, big sack towards the Lancers' own end zone. They've managed to get out of that because the Lancers, you see, the Demons took that time out. The Demons took that time out because they thought they could smell blood in the water. The Lancers have sort of alleviated that a little bit, but it is still third. And 23, I'm going to say. And the Demons have two timeouts. Can the Lancers do it again? If they do this again, I might have to jump off this balcony because, oh, it's mad. Call by 85. And 85 is running. Great catch. Ball is, sorry, clock is running. The Lancers need to get something going again, as I've said. One of the big things is, they're quite, like this, this, this is too slow. If you're a coach and you're watching this right now, you're going mental. You're going, if you're a coach watching this, 
you're going absolutely mental because that was far too much time spent. It's trips left for the Lancers. Caldicott rolls out to the left. He's looking, he keeps rolling. And it's another sack, it's another sack. And I tell you what, the Lancers, with that time wasted, means that the Demons offense will not get a chance at the end zone. The score line here at half time, 25 Exeter, 12 Oxford. And this is a game that is heating up. What, what, what are we talking about here? Exeter, run game, amazing. Are we surprised? No. They're running it, they're running it, they're running it, they're running it, and they're running it a little bit more. We have had a touchdown from a big man, Mugford, gets it, 2B, ball, batted down, he caught it, ran it, sensational. We've had some sensational plays, and I've not said sensational yet. Oh my Lord. It's going mad, it's going mad. But Extra, it's so strange because Extra are covering these receivers. But the Oxford Lancers just managed to snag it out of the air. Garnier LaBelle, it's, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's sensational. Euphoric. <laughs> I'm being loved at. No, pay attention. But the Lancers managed to snag it out of the air. What will the Lancers need? The Lancers need to have a defensive stop to put themselves back in this game. 25 to 12. Oxford are scoring. They get the ball at the half. They get it. But what? I don't, the magic here in Oxford, there's something going. Exeter need that stop. I'm sure Exeter are surprised. I'm surprised. I'm sure maybe even the Lancers are surprised. But my God, what a game here as we have half time. And I think every single player on the field has earned their orange slices, earned their Haribo, earned their jelly beans, earned their LucasAid Sport. We're not sponsored, but maybe. Um, they've all earned it. We're going to have a look around the league, see what's going on. I saw Ben Harris, lovely Ben Harris. Wish he was here. I asked him. Unbelievable, Ben. He telling me the gold are up 10-7 against Durham. And we're on track for the three-peat showdown. The gold versus the bullets, but do not count out the Durham Saints. Northumbria, smash the green. I didn't see it coming. They smash the green. 29 to zero. Currently, UCLan, zero. Derby, six. And Swansea are currently 22 nil up against Imperial. I thought that game was going to be closer. Maybe Imperial can do something. Game's not over yet, but that's the scores around the league. Someone out there, someone try. Get me the NTU Manchester score. If it hasn't kicked off yet, then don't worry because you can't. Guess it. Guess the score. I'm going to have a look. I'm going to have a look. Wow, what a, what a game. Makes climbing this tower worth it. How am I going to get down? What a good question. That is a question for maybe an hour's time. So NTU versus Manchester started at one, but I can't see anything. Manchester telling me nothing. NTU telling me nothing. Someone out there must know the score. Someone please, please give me the score. Again, we have to be impressed here with the season that Oxford have had, the turnaround. It's interesting. Six comments. Damn. How long is half time? About 15, 20 minutes. Don't worry, I won't talk for a bit. I'll let you go and enjoy it. I just wanted to go and see if I could see NTU versus Manchester score. So let's know, I'm going to leave you for a bit. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to change some batteries and then I'm going to get back to you. All right. 
So I'll see you in just, just a hot second.
So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in Exeter. The only thing that really seems to have changed in the schools around the league is that it's 12-0 Derby over U Clan. But we're back here. I tell you what, one thing I will say, <clears throat> Oxford maybe a bit late getting out of the changing rooms. Maybe a bit late. You know, haven't really had a chance to warm up. Exeter have had a full warm up. A little bit colder than it was. Started to spit down here, but no rain yet. Oxford will be taking the ball in and they need to score here. Did manage to get a score on the final drive of Q1. That reminds me. Q1. Half one. Sorry. I remind myself that I should probably change the, the, the quarters on the old bottom of the screen, Rooney. But you know, it's a bit colder now. Oxford haven't really had so much chance to warm up. Bush with a big kick, it's high, it's high. Goes out of the back of the end zone, and once again, Oxford will be starting on their own 20. Please don't swear on my stream because I'm sure that you can hear it, but you know, it's players. I'm not going to have a go at players for swearing. Lord knows that when I played, oh, like a sailor. Unbelievable stuff. So here we go. What do X need to do? X need to shut down these, not Hail Mary throws, but shut down these big throws of the Lancers. Two backs in, two on the left, and well, one's moving out wide. And it's a run for Oxford. Going to be a gain for Oxford. Not a lot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Actually, that run, that's a turnover. An exit to start off hot. I don't even see it. I just saw the ball carry get taken down. And just like that, the extra offense have the ball. I think even with, I was delayed. The extra sideline was delayed. I didn't even see what happened. You need some NFL camera angles for stuff like that, guys. Woo. And it's a run. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Wow, wow, wow. Let's have another look at that. Dragging people with him. And they are right on the edge of the red zone of the Lancers. And right on the edge, I mean right on the edge, I believe they're on the 11-yard line of the Lancers. This whole thing has just flipped. And a throw out to the flats. And that looks like it's going to be a touchdown for... And just like that, and just like that, Exeter increased their lead by even more. Wow, what a turnaround. I didn't even see it. And Abbott to Shayless there, taking it in. I'm sure there are people in the comments who love an Exeter passing touchdown. We've got people on the move, 30 and 7 on the move for the Demons. And now Exeter's moving. Toss out to Shayless. And it's going to be two points on the board. 33 to 12. And just like that. And just like that, a turnover. Another turnover on the first play of a drive for Oxford. But it was just a mass of football players. I didn't see what happened. It seemed to me that the exit to sideline, they didn't see what happened either. So I don't feel too bad about being fairly delayed in my response. 
I just saw the Exeter offence getting ready to go on. And just as quickly as Oxford kicked it away to start the second half, Exeter are going to be kicking it to Oxford. 33 to 12 the score. Not undoable for the Lancers, but they're going to need some magic. High ball, no touchback. 87 for the Lancers has got it. He's going out wide. He's going. He's going. Referee almost gets taken out there. Great, great return. Let's see where they spot him. Eh, not as good as I thought it was. Apacombe there with the return. He's going to get it just over the 30. I'm going to say he's going to be on the 33-yard line of the Lancers. Spread, 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 an empty set. Well, I'm saying there's a receiver. Kelly Cox looking. Running out wide, he's got demons everywhere. Napa Palmer just locked up there. Again, I don't know what it is. I the, 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 the warm up there, you know, it, the warm up troubles me for the Lancers. I know that, you know, you shouldn't have to really warm up too much. There just wasn't enough time for them to really get a good one in. So two on either side. Cali got looking. Quick one. And... A bat down there from number 60, 60 Owen Toothill. And the worst part is you can see the emotion that he hurt his hand batting it down. <laughs> but a bat down. Third and ten. Not beyond six. Definitely, definitely not the start that the Lancers wanted. What was the scores with Bournemouth? Thirty-two to six was their playoff win over Bournemouth. Caldicott is looking, throws it out wide, and 16's caught it. And again, it's another big, big play for the Lancers. They just managed to pull these out, but they're going to need a few more if they want to bring this score back within a reasonable distance. Garnier Levine, Labelle, not Levine, Labelle, with the catch, but a first down off a third again. And they're going to be on the 40-yard line of the Demons. Here we go. Calicott is looking. Number one is right there. And absolutely textbook. Absolutely textbook sack there. From... Oh, Oh my goodness, get it wrong from Hallett there. We said that he's just played to look out for. And what a surprise, absolutely textbook. Coming round the corner, you could see it coming from up here. Ben Harris keeping everyone informed. Durham, 14 gold, 10. I'd say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. If you're watching your son today, watching your kids today, Behind the stick's going to be a second, and I'm going to say 18. Caldicott's looking for a big one. Yeah. And a pick. And a pick. He just got a sack. He's now got a pick. Wow, wow, wow. Let's have another look at that. And again, as I said, hell it, you, he's a man to look out for. And that's why. A sack. A pick. Amazing. You know, I always say this on the stream because it's such a good metaphor. The old Madden, you know the momentum meter. The momentum meter is green. It's green, it's green, it's green. All the second half feels like it's only been going on for maybe a couple of minutes and it's been all Exeter. 
OT the motion. Jet sweep again. It worked in Q in the first half. But brought down. It's going to be a first down. But, but not by a lot. Those outside runs, those handoffs to the outside are working for the Demons. They were working in the first half. They're working now. Last thing you heard, AB, thank you for telling me. Apparently, Nottingham Trent, 31, Manchester 6. And 18 coming in again, faking the jet. And this time it's Shea. And Shea fighting people off, but there's too many. He managed to bounce off one demon. Demon? Demons. I don't know if I put a D on the other. He fought off, he fought off one, bounced off one. But managed to keep going. He's gonna have a gain of four, but again, seems to be that Shea's down once again. Definitely, definitely not the second half you wanted if you're an Oxford fan. We've seen a pick. We've seen a fumble. Next are going to be trying to matriculate the ball down the field again. It's one of those things where, you know, I see the comments, people saying, all they do is run. All they do is run. Well, if all they do is run, then stop the run. If it works, it works. You know, if it works, it works. It's the same as the tush push for the Eagles. You can be mad about it. But if it works, it works. Shea being carried off here. Seems to be that West is back in at a running back for the Demons. So we're back in here. It was a good game. Third and one now for the Demons. And this run, West's got it. And a great block there. You know, a lot, sometimes the line, you don't get the flowers, but look at this block from 74, boof. Got another demon down. Ben Burgess there, running through a man to set up a first down for the demons. As it looks here in Exeter, we are going to get the final that many people thought we would get. I know, you know, can't count Manchester out, can't count Oxford out. The scoreline suggests it's going to be an Exeter NTU final, and what a Div 1 final that'll be. Premiership bound for whoever wins those two games. If anyone's got any D2s, tell me. Last time I heard, 14 to 10 for Durham over Nottingham. Northumbria will punch their ticket to the Div 2 North final. Seems to be that the Swansea Titans have punched their ticket or punching their ticket to the Southern final. It's an interesting one. Going to be interesting to see the result of that UCLan Derby game as well. That is happening. As the injured demon makes his way upfield. So here we go. We're going to lock back in here for the first down for the demons. Seven minutes in. And it's reverse. Bush has got it. And Bush has got lanes. 
He's going to take it out of bounds there for a first down. Gonna be happy if you're a Bristol Aztec. They will be on your squad. There's a lot of men on the line. And it's a pass here. And it's going. And a touchdown from James Bush. He gets the first down. It was good, it was good. And 39 to 12, Exeter increased the score. You know, James Bush last year, we singled him out. We attended a few games, obviously we didn't stream many games last year. But we, we attended a few, we were having a scout around. James Bush was one of those standout guys. You know, Steve was like, oh, Steve gushing over. Over the head of seven, looking for another Mugford touch, or another Mugford points on the board, but just not able to do it. 39 to 12, the score here in Exeter. Again, that momentum meter is bursted. It's bursted. It's bursted top down, left, right. It's bursting green at the minute. You've got to be happy if you're Exeter. I will say, extra, lots of mullets on this team. Is that, you know, are the two things related? Is success equal to mullets? You know? Just saying, people. We don't know. Someone should do a PhD on it. Maybe me. And take honestly respect Oxford for honestly respect Oxford getting to the end zone twice after expecting it to be a shutout I somewhat agree I'm going to get to some of these comments and Bush just puts it up into the air caught by 62 of the Lancers and just lies down as the as the, as the demon sideline boos as they wanted to hear some contact uh, who would be the favourite in Exeter versus NTU what a great question I'd have to go back to the stats and have a look. Oh, gosh, that's a good question. Oh, that's such a good question. That's why it's going to be a great, great final. NCU in the opinion for JJ. NCU pass game so much for Exeter. Hmm. It's an interesting one. You know, if you look at the score lines of both squads, you'd have to sort of put it more towards NTU, I think. You know, Warwick have proven that they that they were a good side, a lot better side than anyone sort of would have would have seen. And then to you were able to beat them twice. Hallam as well. No, Hallam aren't the team that they were a few years ago. As Coldicott is looking, he's going back and just bounces it off the floor. Um, but you know, I think it would depend on the closest game between the two. Obviously, the closest game for. The Demons was the Bath Killer Bees. But if I can, if you if you can give me a moment, I shall have a gander at the NTU. Um, the NTU stuff. Second and ten here for the Lancers. No matter what happens today. If Exeter win, do they go up, Nate? Yes, they do. Caldicott is looking, he's got time. And just bouncing off the hands of 24 of the Lancers. Yeah, this is whoever wins this, they're premiership bound. Be interesting, the Midlands won, producing potentially two in two years. Premiership size. NTU, good side. Loughborough, good side. We need to reignite that rivalry in the Prem.
Here we go for the Lancers. Third and ten. Caldicott's looking for 60s right there. Caldicott escapes. He's escaping. He keeps escaping. Oh, and just batted down. Wow. My, my son is Chris Vadega, so I want to thank you guys for showing this. We're not showing it. We're not showing it, but honestly, he's great. Love his videos. Love his videos. We always watch his videos. We always, always watch um, Chris's videos. Um, but yeah, he's been great. You know, we can, you can see that by the scores they're putting up. NTU, I believe their closest score was seven, was seven points between them and Warwick. And the first punt of the game. Still fighting his Abbott. First punt of the game. This time Foxwood, yes. A week six game. Seven to 14 for NTU over Warwick. So seven points was their closest game against Warwick, who were a good side. And then you've got Bath. It's 13, smallest player. It's difficult. It's so, 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 so difficult. Well, you tune into the rundown tomorrow. Well, I'll, I'll have a think about it on my drive home. Hmm, that's a good question. It will be on the Bucks channel, don't make me cry. I'll be there for it, but I won't be commentating it. And a pass here, a rare pass. <laughs> And it's like they can read the comments. It's like they can hear the comments. They can see him. We do have a Lancer down, but a great, great catch and run there for the Demons. Leo Corney to be fed extra with the mismatch of their O-line versus the teams of the division. They could run inside zone every time and still no one would be able to stop it. Their run scheme is creative. Very much so. Mike coming in, 14... Durham, not gold, zero. Zero, ten, not zero. Durham still got a chance to shake up the Prem. As we said, Nottingham always find a way to win. James Bush there with a great catch and run. Flip the field, punt already. Answering question, he's back on his own sideline. Good, always good to see as extra continue their march down the field. Still in Q3, as what is looking like just the you know, Oxford's first half was fantastic. Again, realistically, you look at Oxford, you know, especially when the and a double pass. Oh my lord, we almost had it all. A lineman touchdown, a pass caught by himself. James Bush was <laughs> looking for that touchdown, a double pass, just trying to spice some things up. I mean, you can't call Exit a boring when they're running things like that, can you? Ooh. I'll tell you what, Joel, they've read them. Someone's in the comments. Second and ten here. You know, you've got to give respect to the Lancers. No, I'm not going to do this now. I'm not going to do this now. Because it seems like I'm discounting them. And I'm not going to do that. Bush in motion. Run. Up in the middle. But. A great stop by the Lancers. Stopping the run. They've managed to do it a few times. We go back to Mishit. Oh, 
Sheamus with the run that was stopped there. Three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. And they're going for it here. Going for the fake snap count. Oxford very well drilled. But a QB run there from Abbott. Brought down by a fleet of Lancers. Third down. Not going to be a first down for Oxford. Oh, hang on. Didn't see the flag on the play on the far side. A hold on Exeter, number 74. And that seems to... So it's declined by the Demons. So Oxford declined the penalty. Going to be a fourth and four. Now for the Demons. Bit of a gamble here to decline. Fourth and four, especially with a, you know, Exeter can get four yards. It's going to be a run here. Shayless is going. Shayless is going and Shayless has got it. Jack, no. But normally, you know, I get what you mean, though. Sometimes it is a bit painful. It's painful for me. It's painful for me. So. Motioning two men over to the left. One on either side. West in the back, and he's now running left. And Lance is very, very quick to get there. It's going to be a gain of two. Looks like we're going to have a Lancer down. No, he's back up. He's back up. Second and eight now for the Demons. Men in motion again. Fake the hand off to West. Looking. And broken up by 35 of the Lancers. Trying to flex that passing game a little bit more, but Charles London for the Lancers. He's not having any of it. Third and eight. Jack, I've got uh, Jack. I have to commentate and f do the tech and look at the rosters. <laughs> please, please cut the boys some slack. Third and eight here. Another fake to West. Number ten has got it now on the reverse, and a touchdown on the reverse. X are getting tricky with it. And Finn Sly there takes it in for another six points. 45 to 12. Seems though like they're going to be keeping everyone on the field. They're going to be going for two. Taking it at 47. And a flip out of 45, and he just drops it. 
and West just can't bring it in. As the kickoff team for the Demons come back out. If anyone's got any NTU Manchester updates or any updates at all, keep me informed. So here we go, Bush is ready to go. Great big kick here. And another touchback. Just under a minute left in Q3. As this game's starting to get a bit out of hand. Lancers starting on 20. Just another score, another bit of magic from the Lancers. It's looking like it might be, a, 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 again, a hill too tall for a bridge too far, a valley too low. Caldicott is looking again. Oh, I'm broken up there by 26, just battling, batting the ball around in the air. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it's getting a bit cold up in Tebbet Towers up here. Caldicott's looking. He's got space. That's Caldicott. And it's going to be a first down for the Lancers again. Getting out of trouble there. Was 26. Who, you know, he's having a great game considering that he's not the regular QB for the Lancers. I think he's having a terrific game. Same with Gagne Labelle, number 16 for the Lancers. He's made some of those incredible Lancers magic catches as that is the end of Q3 here in Exeter. Not too much of a field flipper here. Awful if you're an O-line. You want to take that walk, give yourself a breath. But also, they could also be athletes um, and not enjoy a nice, peaceful walk. So, first and ten on the 36-yard line of the Lancers. Trips right. Flag on the play, looking like a full start from the referee's motion. Yep. Daniel LaBelle had taken his team back. Five injured. There is a player down for the for the demons. Sorry. But once again, as I've been saying all day, it seems Lancers seem to thrive behind the sticks, and they're behind the sticks again. So 
First and 15 for Oxford. Seats getting cold. Let's see what's happening around the league. I'm going to sit back down. Oh. No one make fun of me for making that noise when I sit down, for God's sake. <laughs> I caught it. I'm not, I'm not normally on... Um, I'm not normally mic'd up when I uh, sit down. I don't know. Come on. Injured Demon is coming off to his own side and under his own power. I can't see any scores on the doors. Any new ones, anyway. <coughs> Sorry about that. 22 nil was the, was the last score I saw for Titans versus Imperial. Uh, 31 6 was the last score I saw from NTU Manchester. 14 to 10 was the last score I heard in Durham. Oh. And Garnier LaBelle there. And another full start there's going to take the Lancers back 10 yards, second and 20. Caldicott's looking for a great ball, but just over the head of 85. Second and 20 for the Lancers. But you can see that they've got no... They don't mind airing this ball out. We've seen it all game. But then is that going to be a struggle when, you know... NTU potentially I'm still saying potentially we don't know what's going to happen here. come knocking in Loughborough in a week and a half Caldicott is looking high ball might hit me but a third and 20 here for the demon for the Lancers Trips on the right for the Lancers. Can they use some more of that Lancers magical rollout again from County Cot? He's going, throws it up. And here we go now. Can the bell call that very close to the sideline? I have not seen, I haven't seen anything from an official yet. No, out of bounds, out of bounds. By him, not only here in NFL commentary. Well, this is this is the this is the joy as well of sitting um, side down. It was high. I could see I could see the uh, I could see the lacing on the uh, ball. So imagine being an 18 T stadium. You're like, wow, that ball might hit me. So here we go. Second punt of the day for the Lancers. Punt going left, and that is going to go out of bounds on the Demons 33. I'm going to take a, take a punt there <laughs> um, and say that. No, I think I've got that right.
counting six bicep bands on the ox on the extra dean I can see in front of me. How long left? Fourth quarter, just I'm gonna say there's probably ten minutes of game time left. Um, I'd say. Maybe longer because they were past plays. West is going. But Lance is there and he's fighting through and it's gonna be a first down for the Demons. Just fighting. West in the backfield, two receivers on the left, one on the right. Got those extra men in at the line. 29 in motion. Looking for a throw here. High ball. But over the head of the receivers. Isn't over, over only an 80 yard field, I believe so. I believe they've been phased out in the coming years. over the head of Finn there. That play for Exeter. Exeter being tricky. We've seen a double pass out of them. Seen some reverses. I believe Seager has four bicep bands. It's a run here from West. Just cuts it. Changes hands. But brought down by seven of the Lancers. I tell you what is impressive. That, those first steps from West generates so much power and speed. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And a gun was there, number seven, for the Lancers with the tackle. A fresh set of downs, Abbott's looking. He's looking. And Finn has got it. And Finn is in. Let's have another look at that. Just nice and nice and simple. Just found him. Over the top. Amazing. Simple as that. And it is 51 of 12 as I sent some rain in the air. Can they get an extra point here? And now I'd argue the game may be potentially going the way that people thought it may go. Can Exeter add another one on. They're keeping the offense on. West is in. And it's a pass from Abbott. Going for Mugford again. And Mugford's got another one. I know, he is the right tackle. Before, that's the second. O-line score. Boys, I see you again. We've seen a double pass today. We've seen O-line score. I've got it as 53 to 12. No problem. Sorry. The demons are asking me what the score is. Um, actually, actually, hold on. Let me remove those two points as there was a flag on the play. Oh, wait, it wasn't a touchdown. And there we go. There we go. I didn't see the flag. I was stupid being spoken to. You don't hear that in the NFL either. Sorry, guys, the, the players are speaking to me. I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but, you know. So here we go, Josh Booth keeping me in the loop. The first Division One championship contender is set the nottingham trent renegades will be going to loughborough on the 19th of march and it seems to be in about 10 minutes or so they are going to be joined by the exeter demons and i tell you what exeter versus ntu that could be a game for the ages 
a game for the ages. Wow, 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 wow. Salivating at the thought of that game. Thank you, Josh, for keeping me informed. James Bush kicks it away. It's a high one. Caught by 87. 87 running round. He's getting his jersey grabbed. Cuts back. And he's still on his feet. 87's going. Wow. I mean, it felt like he ran for a mile. But what a what a great run. Apakama there with that run back. <clears throat> Only going to get it to what it looks like the 23 of the Lancers, but you know you can't fault the effort. Absolutely sensational. You can see plays like that shows the Lancers aren't giving up. Because again, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until I talk about that. Not talk in general because I'm on commentary. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking. Exa NTU 2014 rematch. Last played 10 years ago yesterday. Damon, what was the score in that game? You can tell me who won that game. And they've done a reverse here as well. Popped it back. LaBelle's running. LaBelle, I think, is going to have eight yards. I'm going to say six or eight. 2014 rematch. Do you know how long ago that was? I wasn't even in the uni ball yet. I didn't even know about American football. I wasn't even at uni. I feel like I've been at uni for like 20 years. It's going to be a gain of, uh, I'm going to say, split the difference. That's a gain of six. It was a gain of six. I was going to split the difference say seven, but I can see it. I can see it in my eyes. Trips right for the Lancers. Second and four. Caldicott is looking. He throws it up. He throws it up high for LaBelle. And a one-handed snag. Oh, flag on the plate. I know there's a flag. We will talk about it. But let's just have another look. Another special, special play. Oh, wow. And that's gone the way of the Lancers. And the Lancers. Oh, footage on YouTube. Thank you, dude. And another special play there for the Lancers. Oh, it's so amazing to see when the Lancers do that. Wow. Ben Harris keeping us informed. Swansea punched their ticket to the Southern final, which means the game will be taking place in Cardiff. Swansea 20, Imperial 8. Trips right for the Lancers. Can they put some more points on the board? Caldicott's looking, he runs right. He looks like he's gonna dink and dunk it off, but he's just running. And Manny just takes him to the ground. Gonna be a gain on the play. I wonder if I can replay that. Will it just cut it off? Oh, what a shame. Going to be a gain of seven on the run there from Caldicott. Going to bring up a second and three in the red zone. They're close. But we'll one have another set of downs with it now. Spread now for the Lancers. Caldicott's running. He's looking. Caldicott still running. I think there was a lane open for him to get that first down. He just runs up the middle. He tries to stretch for it. And it's going to be a first down, Lancers. I don't know if there's any laundry on the field. So two minutes, 41 remaining in the game. Oxford take their first time out. 
They're going to put some more points on the board. It's an impressive showcase. We'll talk about that two minute warning hits. I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the Lancers. But as for now, I'm going to keep them locked in. We know NTU are going. It looks like Exeter are as well. It looks like Exeter are as well. What a game. Oh, be interesting to see Ben Harris, if you're still listening, and I hope you are, or watching, or both. Nottingham versus Durham. Actually, well, I'll just quickly have a quick gander at the old streamer Rooney. So here we go now. Not going to be a first down for the Lancers. My apologies. It's a third and one for the Lancers. Between them and a first down on, I think, the two or three yard line of the Demons. Trips again, Caldicott's looking, Caldicott just runs. And I think Caldicott is gonna have that first down. And it is gonna be a first down, so the Lancers have a chance to put some more points on the board. I'm gonna put, this, put the other stream on. Oh, still 14 to 10 to Durham. I can't see what the queue is. Can't see if there's queue three or four. So here we go now, looking like it's going from the two. Not been a run heavy squad here. Have the Lancers been, but can they knock in? But it is gonna be a run and just met. Oh, my Lord above, just met. No gain on the play. And a timeout for Oxford. Manny breaking the play up there. So 147. So as Oxford looked to punch it in, one more time, let's talk about them. Oxford have had a fantastic season. Doesn't look like they're going to be, or I don't think they can. I leave here today with the victory. Exeter versus NTU is looking fairly set. But let's talk about Oxford quickly. 5-2-1 season. Off the back of a 2-5 and five season. The fact that Oxford are here and the fact that Oxford have put points on the board against one of the best teams in the entire country. Big props to the Lancers as County Cots looking, but he's sacked. And that man right there. That man right there, number 26, he may be down right now for the Lancers, but what a game he has had. What a game he has had. Not the starter through the season, not even the backup for the season. And he has come in and he's played playoff football and he has scored and he's put on, made great throws, made great reads. Had the brain of a QB extending, throwing the ball away. A great game from him, a great game from 16. Gagne LaBelle, he's had a great game. They're behind the sticks now, sort of. It's third and, I'm gonna say eight. And he's looking, and it's caught. And another touchdown for the Lancers. It's 18 of 53. The fact that the Lancers have been able to put points on you look at the amount of points averagely that the Demons concede, it's not a lot. But the Lancers have managed to, I believe it's 5.3, the Lancers have managed to put that on threefold with a score here potentially fourfold. You cannot doubt the Oxford Lancers are going to be a team to look out for next year. They've been great, absolutely great. Just Big respect to the Oxford Lancers coaches, to the players. Absolutely sensational, absolutely sensational run had the Lancers have had to be here. Fighting for a place in the Prem, bouncing off the hands. But 26 of the, the Lancers in general, the 26 in the last, and the game is over. And ladies and gentlemen, the Exeter Demons have a date with the Nottingham Trent University Renegades.
and the Exeter Demons are Premiership bound. What a season they have had, undefeated up to this point. What a great game, 53 to 18. And the Demons have succeeded everything they wanted to do. They are Premiership bound. What a team, what a season they have had. But it is not over yet for the Demons. Celebrations continue today, but tomorrow, but tomorrow, people crying, people crying down here in front of me. They are going to the Prem, but they are going to Loughborough as well. The NTU Renegades versus the Exeter Demons, a match for the ages, a match for the ages on the 19th. Tune in. It'll be on Bucks. Oh my Lord. A sensational game here for the Demons. A sensational season for the Demons and a sensational season for the Lancers. The Lancers. No one thought they'd be here. A fantastic season. Played with house money. Put 18 points on one of the best teams in the country. But big respect to them. The Demons are going to celebrate tonight. But on the 19th of March, we know uh, 10 years. Damon has told us 10 years since the last meeting between the Demons, between the Renegades. And oh my Lord, it's going to be a 10 year anniversary game. Absolutely amazing from both squads. Exeter have done very, very well to get this far. And they're not going to let it go. NTU versus Exeter, 19th of March. Oxford are going to leave here, but I tell you what, you leave your head up. You put your head up high if you're a Lancer. I'm going to try and pack down as quick as possible. I would go and talk to some people, but I'm up here. I can't do much. I'm going to go and talk to some people. But ladies and gentlemen, scoreline here, 40, 53 to 18. Go and watch Gold versus Durham. That's still going. NTU versus Exeter, 19th of March. The, the Swansea Titans, they're in the final. The Mustangs, they're in the Northern Div 2 final. We don't know about Derby versus U Clan. It could be one of them. Look like Derby. You're playing NTU, my friend. You are, mate, yeah. Thanks, guys. The Yui, are they playing the are they playing the Saints or are they playing the Gold, the Titans? Are they playing the Panthers or the Emperors? We don't know yet. Rundown tomorrow. We'll talk about it all, ladies and gentlemen. What a game it has been here in Exeter. Exeter Demons, 53. Oxford Lancers, 18. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you in a Bell see you tomorrow. Bye bye from Tebs. From